Good afternoon. Wow, today today is yet another exciting day, and I hope um, I find you well. Uh, welcome to yet another exciting episode for the Lunch and Learn, and um, your host today, Prosper Taruvinga, hoping that um, you know I find you well um, in this um, you know busy schedule that you might be having. Um, today we talking about something that I have been finding quite a lot, especially at the end of the month now when we are, you know, finishing up our clients' uh, accounts for for the end of the month. Uh, Ray Rink, how are you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, today's uh, video is <laughs> has not been organized at all because I'm just coming in straight from a speaking engagement that I did in the city. So I just came in running and I'm like, snap, I got to do my two o'clock. Um, but I want to talk about, you know, common traits that I find amongst online businesses, which is something that I found out today that a few people or other established businesses out there do not quite possess. And I feel like you as somebody who is starting their business, wanting to scale and grow, you might need to know um, a few things that I discovered when I went uh, talking to uh, some business people out there. Okay, so this was a convention, an event where um, I think there was about 44 small to medium enterprises that were talking about, um, you know, trying to, you know, source out business amongst themselves. So it was more or less a networking event. And I realized that a lot of these people or entrepreneurs they do have a unique business, they have, um, you know, a unique value proposition, but they are not making money online. And there's a few things, it, it, it is a big cause of concern um, when you see every other business that's out there that looks like they're doing well, but their online presence is not generating any income. And um, when, when I saw this and I heard the way people were talking, because there's a certain language that somebody who's actually making conversions um, makes or says, there's certain words that people include in their vocabulary that can show you that they're actually killing it online. But it was not there with the people that I was talking to. And, and I figured out exactly as soon as they started talking, what was going wrong with their online presence. And I just thought uh, maybe just um, impart that to you guys so that you um, get to see what's going on. First of all, there's something that's called a personal brand, guys. Um, it's not by design that I show up every single day at a certain at a certain time and do the things that I do. It's called being consistent and staying true to either your message or to your audience. All right. There are so many people out there that are trying to do what we do, like, or trying to be an entrepreneur, or just trying to make a dollar out of whatever 50 cents they plug in. And that's where you see the whole difference to somebody who's in it for the long haul, or somebody who's just there to test the waters. And your customers will tell, and they can tell, all right? And they can also sense that are you somebody who is going to be there for them, you know, you know, you know, fulfilling your promise to them, or are you just in it for the money? People can also tell that difference. And because of the choices that they now have, it's easy for them to actually just ignore you. You know why? Because they haven't felt that you really care about their needs or you really care about what's going to happen to them. Okay. So obviously there's, um, you know, millions of unique businesses online, but what I've realized and the caliber of people that I've been talking to, there's usually three things that make people really successful on the internet. And that's what I'm going to be talking about today. And you know what? It's not your fault. These things are so simple. They look like they're very obvious. Okay. First of all, the one thing that I wanted to talk about is just having an online presence that spells comfort. Juice, how's it going, my man? If people are comfortable and knowing that you're always going to be there, it's easy for them to give you money. All right. And it's just small things like that. If you're going to be a one click wonder, no one is going to come around and, um, you know, want to spend their time or their effort with you because they're not sure where you are leading them or where you're taking them. OK, so there could be, you know, you could be asking yourself this question that maybe you are amongst the million of people 
who at one point in life, they actually went online and Googled how to make money online. If you did, just hit the like button there, you know, because most of us end up doing what we're doing because we went online to just see if we could find yet another way to get income. All right. So about six years ago, which is maybe the time I came into Australia, I also joined that club. I went on and I googled how to make money online. You know what I mean? And then since then, I've met thousands of internet entrepreneurs. Some of them, they're successfully running their companies. And, you know, some people have just decided what sort of niche they want to go to. You know, from, um, I can give you an example. One woman is running a niche of just reading tarot cards. You know, and has got a forum that is actually a multi-million dollar, um, you know, following because, um, I mean, forum, you know why? Because the people in there are engaged. That's where I wanted to reach out to, the, the point I want to drive across. If your audience is not willing and, and able to pay for what you're doing, then maybe you need to change your scope of what you're doing, all right? There's other people that go into business just so that they can get an exit. Those people are also a different breed of entrepreneur, all right? So they go in there and then they get funded and, you know, they get all these hundreds of employees. But at the end of the day, these people are actually, you know, doing something that they actually love. All right. So I've discovered that all these successful, you know, internet entrepreneurs share a few common beliefs around what it is that they're doing. And we've got company. <laughs> hey, honey. You want some milk? <laughs> All right. We're going to have to um, reconsider this. Just hang in there, guys. Let me sort out the little girl. Um, milk? Huh? Okay, great. Just hang in there, guys. Ah, all right. Uh, what was that? <laughs> I'm having sorts of trouble following a long live. Looking forward to tuning back later. What live streaming is all about? Seeing the real you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I just took her back from. Um, I just took her back from uh, play school, and the mom has gone out shopping. And but it's two o'clock. We got to do things. And yeah, thanks for noticing that. All right, so. Before we got so cutely interrupted, I was talking about the things that you got to do, um, you know, in order for you to actually really stand out online. Not everyone is your customer, guys. All right. Not everyone is going to want what you're dishing out. Not everyone is going to enjoy the aspects of your business or whatever it is that you're putting out there. You really want to focus on that person who's problem you can solve. You really want to focus on that person who's, um, who's looking for the solutions that your business can provide. Okay. So there's this, um, you know, theory going on around that you only really need at least 1000 true fans of your business. Okay. So this, this 1000 true fan belief is this, you know, to be a successful entrepreneur in the internet era, you don't actually need millions of followers. You just need a thousand true fans. If you're looking around and you already have those people within your following on social media or on your, you know, um, you know, your links or your email marketing, 
you really want to make sure you get them to start engaging with your stuff now. There's no point in you just having people following you, yet they're not buying from you, yet they're not really sharing your stuff or whichever way. And it does take a while for you to actually get onto... Um, it, it does take a while for you to actually get onto that 1,000. But it's something that you want to do for the long haul, all right? And the reason why I started off this um, show today by saying... Clients can notice if you are in it for just, you know, um, um, the short time or if you're there for quite a long haul, okay? So some of these people that you're going to be looking out for, your 1,000 true fans, um, I'll give you an example. You know, I once, um, I once worked with a company, um, I think about a year ago. Right now they're doing something else, but their main product that they specialized in was was a piece of industrial um, restaurant equipment. And this equipment was retailing at about $400, okay? And we also realized that within Australia, um, I mean Melbourne at that time, only 400 people per month were actually searching for that piece of equipment for the restaurant. Because there's not too many restaurants out there, all right? So what did that mean for them? It meant that they just needed to service those 400 people. You know why? Because those are the only people that actually need that product from them. So they had to figure out ways of maximizing the customer spend, all right? So it went on from that piece of equipment to, um, you know, other parts of it, et cetera, et cetera. You don't need to go out there and, you know, spread yourself thin going off to people that actually do not care a single bit about your product okay that's why a lot of people are failing online because they're going out there trying to search and please everybody else but you can't please everyone all right and it's it's just never gonna work for you all right so millions of people is good for celebrities it's good for those people that have you know the, the 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 buying power for ads to continuously reach those people you just need your own little tribe and once you find that little tribe go out there and really really serve them you know why because that's all there is and that's all you got okay so the mentality that we have that we got to make a million dollars etc etc that is wrong what is it that you actually want to make all right, figure that part out. What money do you want to make that will make you comfortable? And then pretty much from then on, figure out how many of your things or your products or your services do you need to sell per week, per month for you to reach that amount? And that's all you really got to concentrate on and making sure that those people will come buying for more. Because if you go out there and you spread yourself thin, then what good are you to the next person who doesn't care? Do you know what I mean? So... It's, 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 it's real simple, guys. And um, the, the real myth, really, um, behind the 1,000 true fans, it just shows that, you know, when you start actually serving people that actually like you, it's easier for them to feel related to you because you know what? Everybody just wants to belong. But if they don't feel that you're serving them, if they don't feel that you actually care, you just want the numbers, they'll let you go. And as a small business, you cannot afford to keep you know, getting new customers in because it's really expensive and I've seen that happening, all right? So when somebody comes into your um, realm, you want to make sure that, you know, they, they're at least spending something continuously, all right? So maybe they buy um, a hardcover book and then they buy your audio versions and then they buy membership within your membership area and then maybe they get a collector's edition of your... Um, you know, whatever you're selling, just make sure they are continuously making purchases from you. You know why? Because they already know, like, and trust you. And it's easy for you to continuously stack on what you can sell those people instead of going out to search for new customers, all right? So successful entrepreneurs that I know and the people that I'm working on with, they first focus on finding their first 1,000 true fans by gaining trust through, first of all, content marketing, all right? Now, the people that I was talking to at the event, most of them don't even have a blog. Most of them don't even have video. Most of them don't even have anything that they can bring customers to and watch and learn and, and you know, create that trust that people are looking for, um, you know, amongst um, 
entrepreneurs all right so if you start putting content out there this includes everything you know like from writing a blog speaking or just going out to webinars or doing a live like i'm doing and being consistent about it it doesn't mean you have to do 30 minutes like i do or whichever way but at least if you're showing up for your customers they feel like you are actually respecting them all right, people just really want to be felt to you know the whole importance of them being um, there. All right, so the internet is actually making it easier for us to reach these clients, and it enables you to have a direct relationship with these fans, and they would literally call you and ring you up so they can buy directly from you. Okay, now it's not like you you know a bookshop that closes at six and then they have to wait the next day. No. They can buy from you anytime and you got to create that environment that makes them want more from you. So that means you got to also continuously, continuously, um, you know, create these products and make it easy for them to, to, to come to you and ask you questions about what it is that you do. All right. So I'll just give you an example. Let's say you've got, um, one, one of those, like I said, you just need a thousand people. Let's say you've got 1000 people paying you a hundred dollars each um per year how much does that equate to that's already a hundred thousand per year right now a hundred dollars per year so they're spending a hundred dollars with you in the 12 months it now depends what products you have that you know you can sell to them and keep stacking up on that all right so that's a hundred thousand is pretty good living for most people you know, I know people that are working within, um, you know, some corporate companies, they were, they're earning 65, 50,000 and they're living pretty good. They can get a mortgage, they can buy a car, etc., etc. So us as entrepreneurs, we are actually, you know, shooting ourselves in the foot by aiming for a whole lot more when you can actually just do well with a little bit and serve those people that actually need you to be serving them okay so if you have those 1000 true fans you know it is it is quite a feasible goal that you can then reach out to you know plus or minus the amount of people that you want to be reaching out to all right it's easier for you to convince somebody who already knows you to buy your latest book it's easier for you to convince somebody who already knows you to get onto the next course or you know your next product instead of trying to convince somebody new all right so it's 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 really simple guys it's um it's just one thing that i noticed today that a lot of people they want to reach out to a lot of um you know fans or prospects but they're not doing enough to retain them Okay, um, on the internet, what I've also really noticed is most businesses are built not by, you know, aiming at the masses, but really focusing on the niche, All right? You can't speak to somebody if you don't quite know how it is that you can serve them, all right? Some people stop doing live videos just because maybe two or three people are watching. But have you ever noticed that your live video can then be repurposed into another piece of content and you can expand, you know, the, the life cycle of that piece of content, all right? So it doesn't mean that if you have five people or three people watching right now, that's it. You know what I mean? Just take away your ego and know that you're out there, you're serving people and you're really reaching out to people that really care about what your product is. Anybody else is profit. All right. So if you really want to be successful, guys, make sure you've got the right kind of person with the right kind of pain and you are actually giving them the right kind of content, establishing you as the go to person for that particular niche that you serve. All right. So, you know, it's it's quite simple. We we were taught when the whole internet thing started to to feed our egos and to run in for vanity but at the end of the day now that stigma hasn't left a lot of business people and that's why we are all failing because we are going out to please people that don't care about our products instead of us going out to really search for those people that actually care about what we've got to serve and like i'm saying guys you only need a thousand people in the whole lifespan of your business if you really want to make it big all right but unless you're one of those one click wonder people that try that try that try that try that and see whatever works and do you know what I mean? It, it, it's not going to go anywhere for you. And you know that you're only going to frustrate yourself and those that you're reaching out to, because you know what? They constantly are seeing you and, and thinking that, you know, you're not going to uh, last or you're just annoying them. All right. 
Um, I mean, you can tell today's um, live was just, uh, you know, a report of what I found out at the event that I went to. I had not <laughs> really scheduled to have one. I thought I was going to be out all day. So does anyone have any questions um, regarding what they're doing right now so that we can, you know, maybe do a live Q&A, figure out, you know, what's missing within your marketing um, strategies and what, what is it that you can actually do to be, do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Um, I see Angela was on, but maybe she's gone. Ray Rink left. Um, Deuce, uh, Sean, Zach, uh, who else is on so that we can, um, you know, pretty much figure out how um, we can make it a whole lot um, interesting for the others. But one other thing that I noticed as well, I keep going back to this personal branding. Um, you know how everybody thinks just because, you know, everything is electronic, you don't need business cards. Um, I keep a bunch of mine and I took them when I went to the, to the, to the event. A lot of people didn't have any and they haven't created their uh, social presence good enough so that even if they tell somebody where to find them, they can be found. So you want to really make sure that um, you want to really make sure that um, whatever you have or whatever you are crafting around your social media, it really has to do um, or it really is presenting you in the right light when you are not there. OK, Simran says, I want to know about AdWords and AdSense. OK, uh, be specific, because obviously with AdWords, it's great for showing you quick results. And normally, if you really want people to just call you, you can use those kind of ads. Um, and I know one thing for sure, a lot of people are doing it wrong and it's really much more expensive than SEO in the long run. So which part do you want to know about ads? What, what is it about ads that you want to know that maybe I can help you out with? All right. So even if, even if, um, you know, she's, uh, Simran is thinking about what they want to ask. One other thing that you got to do in order for you to remain um, in this business is to actually, guys, remain focused on what, what you, you're serving and remain focused on how your client perceives you, okay? Um, at the end of the day, you know that saying that some people want it to happen and some people wish it could happen and others make it happen. It's only when you're focused, it's only when you really, really put your mind and soul to something that you actually start getting real results, all right? So I know it's not possible to pay attention to many things at one time. There's nothing like multitasking. I don't know, maybe some people can do it, but I've never heard of it. So successful people actually do know the, the importance of actually concentrating on specific activities that will help them achieve their goals. So make sure if you are there, your clients are not confused as to what exactly are you offering. Your clients are not confused as to how are you going to be helping them. All right. So this then means you got to stay committed, guys, and be very, very patient. All right. Patience is actually a virtue and um, commitment is, is key. All right. If something is really, really important enough. And if the odds are just against you, you just got to keep doing it. Show up and keep doing it, guys. Because if you're not going to do it, people, you will basically lose confidence. All right. And people can can tell when when you, you, you've lost confidence and you're not able to deliver for them. Remember, whatever we are dealing with, whatever we're selling people there, we're selling them on feeling. We're selling them on emotion. All right. So if you're not confident and if you're not going to deliver how your service or show people how your service can help them, how are they going to pay you money in order for you to deliver that? All right. Um, Simran says how it helps a business advertising with AdWords. I did it earlier, but it turned out to be a negative effect. Simran, the thing that I realize about your product is you can't define what you're selling. All right. The thing is you're selling perfume. Many brands out there are selling stuff that people don't actually really want. So figure out who wants your your goods and services and just really go out there and, and, and find that person. Okay, because if you're sending people from your AdWords, 
and it's not coming to a landing page, you will get a negative effect because if you, you know, position yourself as the perfumer or somebody who's selling that perfume, you bring people to your uh, website and there's 500 different other options for them. They get confused and then they just escape and go somewhere else. So you want to advertise one product and it goes to one landing page. Okay. All right. I hope the... I hope this was alright. Um, I really, really just had to pop in and say what's up. Um, things were happening in and around and I really, really appreciate those that stuck around when my little girl came by. Um, in the meantime, I hope to catch you tomorrow when I'm a lot more prepared. Today I just came in from, um, from an event and I just thought I'd come and talk about you know the stuff that I came across from the the reasons why a lot of people are not making it big online is because they're not focused um, they just everywhere and they're not really you know servicing their client or being definitive or you know you know really saying out what it is that they're selling out there I'm gonna be in the comments and try to answer especially Simran um, with your AdWords and AdSense thing um, it's not something that I can just, you know, say what's going on without actually getting the context of, um, you know, your, 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 your business and, and everything else that goes along with it. In the meantime, guys, hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day. Um, it's been nice and I hope to catch you again tomorrow.